passengers, I'll ask them not to ride. I'm not a fan of that, okay? Okay. Jury's in the courtroom. Russ Meisel is the jury arrived at a verdict. Yes, sir. We, we have handed the bail, please. State of Florida versus Secreto Garcia. We, the jury, find as follows as the aggravating factor the capital felony was committed for pecuniary gain. The jury has found the state proof beyond a reasonable doubt that this aggravating factor exists. Uh, we, the jury, find as follows as the aggravating factor of the capital felony was a homicide and was committed in a cold, calculated, premeditated manner without pretense of moral or legal justification. The jury has found the state proof beyond a reasonable doubt that this aggravating factor exists. As to step two, we, the jury, find as follows as sufficiency of the aggravators the state proved beyond a reasonable doubt that the aggravating factors are sufficient to warrant a sentence of death. As to step three, we the jury find as follows as the weight of aggravating factors and mitigating circumstances. The state did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the aggravating factors outweigh the mitigating circumstances. Uh, it's dated and signed by the four person uh, having made that conclusion, there was no reason to go to step th four. Either side wish to have the jury polled? No, sir. No, Judge. Uh, this will conclude your service with us. We do appreciate uh, the time and the attention that you have given us. I know it's been a long and arduous uh, experience for you. Um, we very much appreciate the time and the attention that you've given us. Um, you've been very cooperative, and we appreciate that. Uh, you've been a very reliable jury. Uh, I try to run things on time, and, and y'all have, by and large, cooperated very much with that, and I appreciate that. Once you start letting things get out of whack on that, you end up sitting in the jury room a long time, and I try to avoid that. Let me discuss a couple of things with you. Um, it is quite possible that you will be contacted with, by someone to discuss your deliberations. You're free now to talk about it if you wish, but I want you to understand you also have an absolute right not to discuss your deliberations. You have every right to simply say you'd prefer not to talk about it. Again, that's up to you. Um, I don't know uh, what kind of person you might be contacted by, but you might be contacted by someone wishing to find fault with what you've done. As I've said, you have every right to simply say you prefer not to talk about it. Uh, you will be receiving a letter from the court uh, with our thanks. It will include in that an opportunity to seek counseling that we have arranged um, that's, you know, something for you to decide. It, it won't be long term, but they, they will at least you get started with some free counseling that the court has arranged. Um, then from there, you can decide how you wish to proceed. Sometimes we don't think about uh, the impact we have on jurors. I do try to consider that, and that's something that we have arranged. Um, you're done now, so I, I did want to comment on one thing that you were not advised of, just in case it's something that you were uh, curious about. I know you've been kind of cloistered from hearing uh, about the case. Um, in Ms. Agbanawa's situation, to let you know that the state was not seeking the death penalty as to her. I don't know whether that was something that maybe you were curious about, but uh, I pondered that maybe some of y'all might be wondering what that situation was. It was decided before trial that you were not to be told that, um, you know, for various reasons, so, but I thought that might be something you would be interested in knowing uh, that matter will be uh, reset, and uh, we have not picked a new trial date on that, but eventually we will uh, have a new trial date, and, and that matter will proceed. So, uh, probably longer than y'all wanted to hear. I know y'all ready to get out of here. 
Uh, we do appreciate all the time and attention that you've given us. We'll let you step out. The uh, court administration people will get you out of the building. Have a good day. Thank you. I'm going to need about 25 minutes. Uh, we're going to proceed on this sentencing. I haven't finished my reading, so I'll be reconvene at 11 o'clock and uh, give me a chance to finish the reading on what's been provided to me. So we'll re reconvene for sentencing at 11 o'clock. Right.